Hello everyone, this is Gina. I am sitting on my bed wrapping gifts today and I thought I would share with you what I have been up to. I have not been making videos. I've been sewing. I've been doing a lot of sewing. I have 12 grandkids to sew for and then um, their parents and my parents. So a lot of stuff and I wasn't able to buy gifts this year so I have been sewing. And I just thought I'd share with what I have been up to. So the first thing I made, these are for our three oldest grandkids. And they are pencil pouches. Just got some, oops, I dropped one. Put some colored pencils in there. They all like to draw. Most, most all of our grandkids love to draw. So these are for the 11 year old, 10 year old, and no, 12 year old, 11 year old, and 10 year old. So, this one I love. I was out of my material like this, so I found a pair of denim pants and cut those up. And then this is a flannel shirt that was my dad's. So, that's for our oldest boy. And I think he could use that for. A very long time and I used the seams of the pants to do the um, ties and I just realized I'm still in my pajamas but you probably don't care <laughs> all right so the next I made this for our youngest girl and um, this was a pattern from the internet almost everything there's only one thing that I came up with on my own everything else is from um, tutorials I found on YouTube or that I found on um, Pinterest so this was a free pattern that I found I think it's cute <laughs> so that's for the littlest I really sewed those buttons on really really good she's not tiny she's three so you know and then this is for the baby and this was also a tutorial I found it on YouTube I had a hard time finding the pattern I had to google baby dino P PDF and that brought up the pattern and um, the blog that had the instructions also and then there's also a video that's got all these tags that he can chew on and I didn't put an eye on this one so then um, these out I made one of these for each of them this was a pattern from Whitney Sews and I liked this one because it's got a boxed bottom so that will hold things they could store their Legos or what have you in there and they're all lined so they each have one they can use it they can throw their jammies in and come to grandma and grandpa's <laughs> I thought this one one of our little ones is in dance and she might like this to throw her little dance outfit in and her shoes and go to dance so they each have one of these this one's the babies so anyway <laughs> um, I had all kinds of fabric I bought hardly any of this fabric I used to sew a lot and so I had a big stash from years ago and I just pulled it out and started sewing I did have to buy a little bit but not much the other thing that I made these are for the oldest ones the ones that don't have a toy that I made them or a stuffy I guess these are little I made little muslin bags and then I just sewed tic-tac-toe on them and then I had to be creative because they all have a little one in the family and I didn't want to use those little clear stones or something like that because I didn't want the babies to get a hold of them or buttons I went and I looked at large buttons but that was gonna cost me too much money so I just pinked different colors of squares and then they can just play that way on their little game and these would be handy to have in the car um, the girls are a little bit different because I did theirs first and realized I'm not doing this I gotta find one of them to show you what I did it was just gonna I was gonna be there for days if I did it the way here's one of them for theirs I cut little squares they've got a square of fabric and um, uh, batting 
and then another square and my machine was not liking it and it was taking forever so I got the girls done and then I went to the boys and didn't do that <laughs> so that is what another one now for the ones that were too little for the pencil pouches I found this tutorial and it's a little holder for you've got a little tablet in here and then um, crayons so all of the middle kids that are not getting a stuffy or a, a pencil wrap they get these little crayon holders and then for some of them I made these little triangle pouches and with a little hook I thought these would be good for their ear or not must um, earbuds they didn't come out quite like the picture looked. It's not the tutorial's fault. I just, I did something wrong. I don't know what, but I've got several of those made for the little girls. And then I accidentally did them wrong side out. So a lot of them, the pretty fabric's on the inside. <laughs> not that the outside of the pretty, but. Okay, and then I've got some more stuffies that I made. These are for the three middle ones. Um, this one, I've said before on my videos that I accidentally sewed my finger. I sewed three stitches through my finger once. It was this, this little owl. I was trying to get this last little feather on and my machine was not wanting to sew over all of this. And when it finally gave way, my finger went with it. So this owl has sat on my sewing table for probably six, seven years at least. I just, I didn't want to use that sewing machine. I didn't want to sew anymore. I've sewed on paper, but I hadn't really sewed fabric until the last couple of months. And I finally, I conquered it. <laughs> I got it done. But these are all flannel shirts that were my dad's. My mom gave them to me after he passed away. So that's the first one. And then the other two, I did a little different. I thought, well, you know, my machine's still going to have trouble with all of this work because I sewed them together, turned them right side out and so there's this thicker area so these I just pinked I sewed them on the right with the wrong sides together and then I pinked around them to make their little feathers and I had no problem sewing through that so these are for the three littler ones but not the two littlest okay so then I made them all also a bookmark I had some scraps and so I made everybody bookmarks Uh, then for the adults, I made the guys these ballet bags. I don't know why my batting, or not my batting, but my, um, I don't get my words today, but my interfacing is crinkly. I don't know if I, I use the wrong stuff, obviously, but they're just little ballet bags or things that they can snap and unsnap. I wish I could have figured out why that's like that but our Christmas is this Saturday and they're done so I've got this is for all of the guys so one of them is a police officer so he's got that one so that's for the guys and then I also made all of the adults these bowl cozies got several of those and these are for the ladies and one more so that is also for the adults. And then for uh, my daughters and my son's girlfriend and my mom, I made these bowl covers and they are reversible. Uh, the, these two, I thought I sized them. That one looks smaller. I kept forgetting what I was doing and I was doing like a half inch hem and a quarter I did it all wrong but it worked but anyway I made them also so that they will fit on the kitchen aid so this one she likes succulents and then my parents are big Illini fans so they got Illini and then this was for my other daughter and she's into this buffalo check and then the red truck of course so I thought the buffalo check she can use most of the year round and then this can be Christmas time and then the last things are, um, my daughters have asked for a 
apron for years. I used to make them and sell them. I had a pattern, I have a pattern called 1941 apron and they have asked and asked for these, but I wasn't sewing. So, but that's what got me thinking, well, I could sew gifts and I know that they will like these. And so this is my oldest daughter's. This is a very old fabric. I got it at a yard sale and it's old. And then I, of course, made my um, seam binding because I don't like to buy it. Hem, hem tape? I don't know what it's called, but anyway, it's got a little pocket here. And then the back is a, um, it's just a bib. It doesn't go on your neck. None of us like them on our necks. So that's what I made for my oldest. And then my next one, she wanted that one too, but... Um, she has been losing weight like crazy. She's in about a medium now, and this is a, a, a extra large. And I know that that would fall off of her. So I found a different pattern and made her this one. And I used her succulent. This one goes over your head. It's got pockets here. It's got a cute little ruffle on the bottom. And then this is the back. So I hope that she'll be happy with this. It's not the exact, but it is a bib apron, you know, that it doesn't go over your neck and it covers, it's, you know, not just a waist apron. I don't know why I can't talk today. <laughs> so then um, for my son's girlfriend, I found a pattern called Church Lady Apron. I actually got this at my thrift store for 59 cents. And I love this pattern. This was the easiest one to make of all of them. And it's just a little, this one does go around your neck. Uh, she's a tiny little thing. I hope this was the smallest pattern that I had. It's got a scallop along the edge. I think it's so pretty. And this was so easy because you just have these two pieces. You sew them together and then turn them right side out. And um, then you put the ties and that on. And all of them have a made with love. So... I hope this will fit her. I probably should have just used one of my kids' patterns to make hers. She's really small. <laughs> and then my mom's. I went a line eye. And this is a different pattern. She needed about a medium. So this one has the pockets. I don't know if she'll ever use this. But she can hang it up in her laundry room and it'll look cute. And this one does go over your head too. It's got the straps. So that's. Oh, shoo, I thought I put that on wrong. It looked cock or twisted. I thought, oh no. <laughs> but anyway, that is my mom's. So I think. Boy, it sure seemed like I sewed a lot more than that. <laughs> I've been sewing for about three weeks straight. And so I finally got it done, and I'm getting ready to put it all in the bags, and I just thought I would share with you all. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. You'll probably see this after Christmas, and I guess I can't put it until I've got them all given away. <laughs> have a great day. Bye.